So you decide to take the plunge and you buy an account with either Apex, My Fund and Futures, or even Take Profit Trader, and you sign up for the TradeVate account and you ask yourself, how do I monitor the drawdown? Well, this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to monitor the drawdown within prop firms using Trade of Eight. Now, when you first log into Trade of Eight, there's a lot of charts on the screen, a lot of moving components, but what I'm gonna simply do, I'm gonna make this very clean, very simple. I'm gonna click X on each one of these boxes. We're gonna clear each one of these modules off the screen, and we're essentially gonna go ahead and start from scratch. And then once we're from scratch, we can go ahead and we'll start building it out the way we need to go. Now, first off, you're probably saying, all right, even if you're using NinjaTrader to trade with Trade of Eight, you still need to know a couple things. One, how do you know where your drawdown is for one? We'll come right over here to this plus symbol where it says add module. We're gonna simply click on that. Now, from that tab, I wanna go right over here to where it says accounts. Click on accounts. And now I've selected counts right over here. All right, great. Well, I still don't see any information right over here on the, now, if you look at this area right here on the chart, click on this little cog wheel where it says view settings, click on that, hit select columns. Now from the select columns menu, there's gonna be a couple different things we need to look for. The first one, let's go ahead and look right here where it says dollar total p and I'm gonna slide that over right there. Then the next thing I wanna do is look at drawdown auto liquidation level. Then I also wanna look at the daily loss limit. Then I wanna go ahead and also bring over the distance to daily loss limit. So distance right here to daily loss limit, just click the mouse, hold it down and hover it right over here to the right. Then what I wanna do is I wanna come over here and click save. Now with that, that's gonna bring up these columns. And like I said, you can still add charts and things to your screen if you need be. But over here now we see, all okay, right, dollar in profit. Well, we have zero profit. This is a brand new account. Draw down, how much, how low is the account allowed to go? It's allowed to go to $48,000. Now your daily loss limit is $1,100. And right here, distance to the daily loss limit. So let's say on trade number one, I lost $200. Well, in that case, this number right here would say $900. Let me know I have $900 left until I'm gonna hit my daily loss limit. Now, depending on which prop firm you're trading with, in this case, take profit, your daily loss limit will fill the account. With my funded futures, the daily loss limit will only ding you out for the day. So whatever prop firm you are trading with, make sure you know the rules for that particular prop firm. Now, something else that we also wanna make sure we have open, and before we go over that next feature, if you guys wanna support the channel, you trade with Apex, Take profit or my fun and features. Use the affiliate links in the description box down below. Now, something else that we also want to make sure we have open. Click right over here to where it says add modules. From over here, I want to go ahead and select orders. I'm going to drag that over here as well. And I'm going to drag it right below it. So up here, I can have my drawdown amount. Down here on the bottom, I have the orders. Now, down here, if I already placed some trades, we'll see orders populated. I have not. Now we want to come back over here where it says add modules once again. Now, what we wanna do from here is, I wanna look for positions, grab that, and I'm gonna move right here. I'm gonna to try to link it right here as a tab. So now I can look at, I can click right here and click on orders, or I can click on positions. Now, why is that important? Well, let's say that you're trading on NinjaTrader, and for whatever reason, you are unable to close the position. Well, you know what? That is not gonna be a problem. You come right over here, if you have positions up, and you can go ahead and close out the positions from this positions tab. Now, if you do want charts and other things up, you can click, let's say the DOM. We'll move the DOM over here. Now we have the DOM over here. Now I can go ahead and put the ES in. We can see we have the DOM right over here. And I think you can drag this, all right? We can make it smaller or bigger. However, we actually want it. I don't really use the DOM. For me, I'm gonna be trading off the NinjaTrader platform. I'm just gonna be using the Trade of Eight connections. And that's essentially how we're gonna monitor our drawdown within Trade of Eight. Now, if you like to learn how to connect Trade of Eight with either Apex or My Funded Features, make sure to watch this video right here.